Eventually, the Museum of Transportation had to give up the ghost. The museum couldn't meet its financial obligations, couldn't make the payments back to the bank, uh, did have to sell out completely here at the museum wharf, and uh, got into extremely difficult negotiations with the bank. Uh, the Bank of Boston was uh, treating this as a very typical workout situation, as if it was a shoe factory or if it had been uh, any other type of business and wanted its money. Uh, the museum tried to work with the bank. The bank had a very contentious law firm that represented it. Uh, the Anderson family collection of automobiles and other events is the oldest collection of family-owned vehicles in the country. It is something that the uh, Anderson family did will to the Museum of Transportation with the idea that it be maintained as an intact entity as a museum. The uh, museum had a lot of other artifacts which were not Anderson related and uh, eventually after many months of wrangling with the uh, lawyers and put liens being filed and uh, uh, very nasty meetings back and forth uh, and pressure constantly on, uh, the bank frankly not believing that the museum had developed a plan to handle the sale in a proper way so that it wasn't just a fire sale taking low price on things, it was able to handle in a way through a public auction of interested car collection people held out at the Lars Anderson Park. We raised some $350,000 or so through the sale which then paid off the final amount at the bank, kept the Anderson collection intact and then moved everything back to Lars Anderson. At the beginning we dealt with the lending section and yes. the people who were putting something together who were able to discuss the concept and the vision and to see what was happening and how it fit into the overall concept of Boston and the harbor, et cetera. Once we got into the workout section and the attorneys representing the uh, workout section people, the outside law firm that they use, I never have dealt with more unreasonable, hidebound, um, short-sighted uh, individuals in, in my life uh, who had uh, no concept other than to get anything they could out of the situation, the fact that they could eventually, if they would be somewhat reasonable and work with us, get 100 cents on the dollar, keep this project going, and allow the Museum of Transportation to reopen its doors in Brookline full time, uh, they could, care, could not have cared less about any of that. Nothing matter. where's the money? Where's the money? I want it now. Give me the money. I don't care about anything else. I want the money. And I know that was putting pressure on the Children's Museum as well, that the bank was, was pressuring that what's going to happen here, and you got the Transportation Museum, and they're not going to pay their bill, so you got to pay their bill too, et cetera. Uh, eventually, when we, we did put together the sale of the artifacts at a very large auction, a couple days out at the Carriage House, Lars Anderson Park, uh, had a pretty good auctioneer who worked the crowd, and uh, we got a check. We sold it, we got a check. And I remember that we had a meeting with the bank. And it was a typical thing with the bank's outside firm, the, the head workout guy there, and they were pontificating. And I just sitting there, I had a certified check in my wallet. And I just waited for them to go on again about putting the pressure. And um, they were. Um, you know, spouting all kinds of things uh, uh, about what was going to happen and everything else. And then when they got done, I just took my wallet out, gave them a the check, and left. So they got paid in full, solved everything, but they really did um, make it more unpleasant than anything really had to be. And I think that mentality, unfortunately, still exists in a lot of the workout divisions and banks as we're hearing about things with the single family homes and foreclosures and that type of thing. Uh, there's not uh, a rational discussion possible. And I don't know where they find these people, but uh, uh, as I say, I, don't, I haven't encountered others like them uh, since.